Hi guys, hello beautiful people, welcome back to my channel. If you're joining this channel for the very first time, my name is Onomi and this is Onomi Empire. If you're a returning subscriber, thank you so much, you guys are amazing. So today we want to make this antibacterial liquid detergent that will take away germs and it also cleans. Make sure you watch this video guys till the end. I love you! So guys, welcome to another DIY episode with Onomi's Empire. On today's episode, we want to end it with a liquid detergent. The first thing I did was measure out my water phase. Uh, this water is 4 liters of water. I had to scoop a little out of it so that it will not be too full. But it's 4 liters of water you're using for this product. So guys, the first ingredient I want to add to this production is our SLS. This is a foaming agent and it also cleans. So this particular um, SLS is also a surfactant. The first one we'll be using for this production. So add your surfactant, your SLS, into the 4 liters of water so that this can dissolve quickly. So you can see as I'm adding in my SLS, I'm just going to stay it so that this will dissolve very, very fast. This takes uh, a little bit of time to dissolve. I'm using SLS rice for this particular production. So after adding it, I stirred a little bit. And so I'll guys, we are making five liter aside. batch of our antibacterial liquid detergent or antibacterial liquid soap. So just so you know this is five liter production if you want to increase it no problem but please follow all the procedure carefully so that you can get the same results now the next thing we want to add to our formulation is our texapon this is our sles this is a sodium lower sulfate. This is also a surfactant, a co-surfactant for this particular production. This is also a foaming booster. So I'm adding, I'll be dropping all the measurements of everything I add on the screen. Make sure you follow carefully so that you can get the same results. So I'm adding in my texapon into a new bowl. The bowl we'll be using for this particular production. Please make sure you get an industrial based texapone. Please, not an homemade texapone. The next thing we want to add is our sodium chloride. This is salt, your kitchen salt or your table salt. We'll be using this as a thickener and this also cleans. So we'll be adding this into our texapone mix this properly together so that we can get a very creamy paste if you have been on my channel for a very long time you know that this particular method is a banger if you have tried it you know that this particular method work very effectively now i get that some people usually complain that uh, they don't get a very thickened soap sometimes it's not your fault trust me one thing with production that people do not using. know too much because we have different grade for all these products. Different, different grade. So it depends on the particular grade you get. Some of these texts are porn, they are homemade. Some of them, they are not factory made. Some, they just make it somewhere. And when you use it, you will not get the same results. Now, as you can see, our SLS has dissolved in our 4 liters of water. Now is the time for you to add it into your production please when you are adding this add it little by little you saw earlier that my text upon was not clear like i said in my last video it's an old text upon so it's not even clear it has been a long long time in my house because i do buy a lot for production so this particular production might not be too clear because of the text upon but if you buy yours it's going to be very so very guys clear. at this stage you keep on stirring stirring you add your water you stir you add your water you stir please don't just add all the water at once and stir 
Hmm. What you will see after it, you will not believe your eyes. But you still see soap. You still get soap shot at the end of the day. But your soap will not have a very good consistency. So if you like a very thick soap, you can reduce the water to 3 liters of water. But me, I am very, very good with just a normal, not too thick, not too thin kind of soap. That's the type of soap I like. So hence, I'm adding in four liters of water so after mixing this up you mix it up you mix you can see from the video that this soap is starting to thicken up i couldn't use this spatula because spatula couldn't go around i had to use my thorning stick as you at can this see point i've stayed video. for almost 15 minutes more than 15 minutes but at least 15 to 20 minutes keep staring I cover this for 24 hours and this is our outcome. This is the outcome of our soap. Now, remember I told you that the soap will not be clear because of the text upon I used. That is why. Now, the next thing we want to add is our chlorosanolol, which will serve as an antibacterial agent for this particular production. And I'm going to add tea tree oil, some drops of this also, because tea tree oil also contains antibacterial properties that will really help for our production. So after adding this, I stirred this completely, stirred it very well so that everything can combine. Now, this soap is not too clear as you can see but it's super super amazing i added so that I uh, soap to this to drying and i'm going to add in my preservative and my fragrance i'm dropping all the measurements on the screen so you can use any fragrance of choice you can use any preservative you can use optifine you can use a sodium benzoate you can use jama plus you know people ask what type of preservative you are using a lot so i've answered everything in this video now um adding in my colors i played with a lot of pink color for this particular formation so, as you can see we got different type of um pink i added pink red different shade of pink rose pink um there are different type though so so that i can get a very peach like a peach color and please keep on watching guys so after adding my colors, I just kept on staring, staring, staring. So guys, if you watch at this point in time, please like my video. Ah, Papa, surprise me, guys. Like my video. Share this video to your friends and family so that this video we move. We move to more viewers, guys. Support me, guys. Please. It is free. Liking is free. Just hit the like button and share this video share this video guys thank you so much i appreciate all you do so i just want to show you the consistency i got another bowl and i added it here so that you can see how beautiful this particular antibacterial liquid wash is now this particular soap will help take away that germs you know, like your detour soap that you use. Some people use it to wash clothes and the rest. You can sell these to hotels, to hospitals, and make cool money from these guys. Please like this video. Share this video to your friends and family. Thank you so much for watching. And if you try this recipe, make sure you give me feedback in the comment section. Thank you so much. I appreciate all you do. One 